are the youth in Kenya ready for leadership positions? Are we doing enough as the, the youth in the church, in the kingdom of God, to vie for these positions in leadership? Today, we are going to talk about the youth in Kenya and their quest for leadership in this country. Welcome to the show. This is Kingdom Conversations. I am delighted to host a young gentleman. He's going to talk about his journey as a youth in his quest of leadership in this country. And I will allow him to introduce himself to you, dear viewers. Kindly say hello to our viewers. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yeah. My name is uh, Douglas Njerogi Nderitu. And uh, I'm a youth president and a youth quarter Kenya. It's an NGO. Basically, it's about young people like you and I. We are trying to have a representation in the national government and also in the county uh, assembly. We are trying to push forward young people for these elective positions and also even in the nominated positions. That's all about the youth quarter Kenya. Thank you. Wow, yes. wow. Mm. So, uh, Douglas, yes, please. Uh, kindly tell us, how did you begin your journey in your quest for leadership, and especially at such a young age? Uh, first of all, I'm a teacher by profession. Okay. And uh, being in class for the last four years, there was this urge for us youths to rise up and take the positions in our country so that we can have real tangible change. Mm -hmm. Having that in mind, day in by out, I was having a dream. How do we move forward? How as young people, how can we not be forgotten? Mm -hmm. How do we have an impact in the coming generation? Yes. That's why I decided to go ahead and come up with the Youth Quarter Kenya mm -hmm. so that you can be able to discuss and come up with ways young people can be assisted in this particular uh, government. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I used to be a teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm very sensitive about young people. Mm -hmm. Any youth in this country, according to the definition of the UN, mm -hmm. a youth is a person uh, from the age of 18 mm -hmm. up to 35. Mm -hmm. If you are above 35, I want to tell you, you are a friend to the youth. You are not a youth. Can <laughs> I repeat <laughs> that? You are a friend to the youth. We have a notion in this country that anybody is a youth. Mm -hmm. Even a person who is 50 is calling himself Kijana. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you, you are a friend to the youth. Mm -hmm. I only recognize youth, anybody below 35. Mm -hmm. And these are the people we are trying to push ahead mm -hmm. so that you can be able to recognize in this wonderful country of ours. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, Douglas, <coughs> you are a Christian. Yes. Meaning you are um, in the kingdom of God, you are mm -hmm. in the church. Yeah. Are the youth in the church doing enough? Are they hungry to see the change? Because at times, the kind of people that we've seen in parliament are youths that are the some of the things they actually stand for we've seen a youthful member shooting somebody in uh in this country uh are the christian youth shy of these positions uh, one thing i'm going to say first of all i'm a, I'm a staunch christian mm -hmm. and uh, there is this notion mm -hmm. that politics is a dirty game mm -hmm. this one is a very wrong notion mm -hmm. because Politics is not dirty. It is the individuals who are making politics dirty. Mm -hmm. So I'm encouraging the youths in the church mm -hmm. to take the mantle and be on the forefront mm -hmm. and show the way. Mm -hmm. There's a whole chapter about integrity. Integrity, personal integrity. Mm -hmm. You as a Christian, if you become a leader, what impact can you bring? Mm -hmm. So it's important we know and, 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 and we take the man to, to forge ahead mm -hmm. and be able to represent the other youth as a Christian. Mm -hmm. Don't share away. Mm -hmm. It can be a, become a career like any other. Mm -hmm. The way a doctor mm -hmm. becomes, the way a teacher, a it's a career, a lawyer, mm -hmm. it's, it's a career like any other. Mm -hmm. So I'm urging the youth also mm -hmm. uh, to take part in it. Okay. Yeah. So for how long have you, how many years now have you had this quest for leadership? Uh, since uh, in campus, mm -hmm. back in 2015, 2015 okay. yes, I was uh, still in, in the same uh, 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 quest mm -hmm. just to represent people mm -hmm. and to have uh, right leaders who are leading this particular country. Okay. So it, uh, it has been a bother inside mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, uh, from last year, I decided, let me now get myself into it. Mm -hmm. 
let me wear the gumboots, mm -hmm. let me go to the shamba. <laughs> this is my tool of trade. Wow, this is my jembe. Yes. We are going to plow the land. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So let me ask you generally from now your own uh, personal ob observation. Mm -hmm. Are the youth in Kenya ready? 18 to 35. Are they ready for this kind of leadership? Because what we've seen in recent uh, mm -hmm. happenings in the government, in the mm -hmm. national and the county government, mm -hmm. we've seen a lot of MCAs coming yes. up. But mm -hmm. is the integrity enough? Is the maturity enough for such kind of leadership that they actually aspire to or for? Uh, I would say that, uh, you know, integrity is a personal decision. Mm -hmm. You can decide to be good or you can decide to be evil. It's a personal choice. Yes. The devil is into details. Mm -hmm. And it's important that as we say we are going towards these elective positions as young guys mm -hmm. between 18 to 35, mm -hmm. we must make a personal decision mm -hmm. to become a role model. Mm -hmm. I tell you, the upcoming generation, these that are in high school, yes. the young girls, the young boys, they are looking upon us. Mm -hmm. And it's upon us to forge a better path for them to follow. Mm -hmm. A path where we have corrupt free country. Mm -hmm a path whereby mm -hmm. they can look upon us and say yes. I would want to be so and so. Yes. The problem we have is this one. Many at times we elect people that we would want to become. Mm -hmm. We elect people that we would want to become. For instance, mm -hmm. you see someone driving a limousine. Mm -hmm. You don't know where the money came to buy that limousine. Mm -hmm. We elect them because we would also want to drive a limousine. Mm -hmm. So it's important we check on the integrity of a, pers uh, of a person, mm -hmm. what do they aspire, mm -hmm. which uh, political ideologies do they have, mm -hmm. not under tribal affiliation, mm -hmm. not under Mutuwe to syndrome, mm -hmm. we need to change all that mentality mm -hmm. so that we can be able to help our country as youths. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we've also seen uh, a lot of promises from previous government, the current government, where the youth are promised big things if you elect us, yeah, if yeah. We, we are going to have youthful people come in mm. government. Mm. Are the youth in Kenya shortchanged? Uh, that's a very uh, pregnant question. <laughs> very pregnant it's a question. pregnant question. I love that. Eh? Because uh, many a times they are shortchanged mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they feel we are not having the capacity and the skills mm -hmm. to lead. To lead. Mm -hmm. They feel we are inexperienced. Mm -hmm. They should change us. Mm -hmm. They put us aside. Yes. We are forgotten mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. the time for election. Mm -hmm. When we are used, <laughs> abused mm -hmm. and misused. Again to elect the same same people mm -hmm. in the same positions mm -hmm. so that they continue misusing us. Mm -hmm. So I would say we are so much uh, should change because of, 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 of these guys have their own political ambitions. They want to cling to power forever. Mm -hmm. That's why they keep on sidelining us. Mm -hmm. So we are encouraging youths to enter into these posts mm -hmm. by fire, by force. By fire, by force. By fire, by force. In and what sense? Particularly yes, in the church. In the church. They need to get to these elective positions. Mm -hmm. Go to the ballot box. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage young guys who are listening mm -hmm. that when it comes to election, mm -hmm. Don't allow anyone mm -hmm. to misuse you. Mm -hmm. Don't allow anyone to give you 50 shilling, mm -hmm. 100 shilling, mm -hmm. a thousand. This is corruption. Mm -hmm. Christian youths, mm -hmm. are we together? This is corruption. Mm -hmm. We must shun away from such devices if you want real tangible change mm -hmm. in our lives as youths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, We've had now, with the introduction, with the new, dis the, the new uh, dispensation, yes. we've had now county governments. We have had posts of MCAs. Mm -hmm. And this MCA post, is, uh, it, is a, it has attracted all manner of people in that 18, mm -hmm. 35 kind of a bracket. Yeah. Have they done anything meaningful in the last, if we look back from when now we entered into the new, con uh, in the, into the new dispensation, have they brought anything meaningful to the table or to the communities that they present? Uh, I want to say this, and uh, I like speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. uh, many a times we bury our head in the sand mm -hmm. and uh, we say things are moving on well, mm -hmm. forgetting the fact that uh, the youths, they, we have been sidelined. Yes. And those leaders that we have elected, mm -hmm. I would say in one to ten, mm -hmm. I would give them an average mm -hmm. of four 
Why for? In terms of performance. In terms of performance. Mm -hmm. Why for? Mm -hmm. Because when you look at the bills they bring mm -hmm. on board, mm -hmm. they are not pro youth. They're not pro youth. They are not pro youth. Okay. They are not pro youth. So they're uh, saying youth. that the youth have actually been forgotten and yes. neglected. Yes. Okay. And you find that uh, they bring their own bills mm -hmm. depending mm -hmm. on whom they are singing Hosanna to. Oh. Hosanna in which sense? <laughs> if you're elected under Jubilee ticket, mm -hmm. if you're elected under NASA ticket, if you're elected under Wiper ticket, mm -hmm. any other party, mm -hmm. initially you had a good vision mm -hmm. of why you wanted that post. Yes. Immediately you are elected mm -hmm. and you sit now comfortable mm -hmm. as a member of parliament, as an MC, whatever, mm -hmm. as long as you're holding that title honorable. Mm -hmm. You forget the people who elected you, the subjects. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. leadership is not a noun. Leadership is a stative verb. It's an action. It speaks in silence. Mm -hmm. People see what you are doing. Wow. It's either you are a chatterbox <laughs> or you are performing. Okay. And most youths, you find, when they get this selective position, they start singing Osana mm -hmm. to this political, mm -hmm. uh, 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 these political parties. Mm -hmm. They forget even their youth. They forget why they are there. Mm -hmm. They forget the people they represent. Mm -hmm. And indeed, it's a shame mm -hmm. to be called a honorable member. Mm -hmm. And in your area, there is no water. Mm -hmm. And you're not doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. And in your area, we have uh, issues of road. Mm -hmm. And you are there. And you are calling yourself mm -hmm. a Moshimiwa and you are representing people. Mm -hmm. It's a shame in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. So it's upon you mm -hmm. as young guys who are representing us mm -hmm. to continue fighting for us until the last minute. Mm -hmm. And also young people who are listening as well. Mm -hmm. They need to be ready to pay a price. Mm -hmm. As the leaders walk a mile, take a step. Okay. As the leaders call you mm -hmm. and tell you take part in public participation, mm -hmm. I took part in public in, in the in the in the data protection bill mm -hmm. last year and mm -hmm. uh, the one dual brought on board. Mm -hmm. I took part in the data protection bill mm -hmm. because I didn't want a bill mm -hmm. that is going to infringe our rights as young people. Oh, yes. Call and mm -hmm. kwa Facebook, mm -hmm. kwa, kwa, kwa WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. I took part in it. So mm -hmm. as young people, you mm -hmm. need to take a step. If you hear public participation, go there. Mm -hmm. If you hear you are supposed to bring a uh, 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 few uh, few recommendations, do that. Mm -hmm. Don't just sit in the house mm -hmm. and become a warrior in, 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 the, the, keyboard, in the keyboard. keyboard warrior, just a yes. warrior. <laughs> and also a blogger for nothing. Mm -hmm. It's important. Mm -hmm. You need to take part. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Take a step. Mm -hmm. As these li leaders take a mile, mm -hmm. play your part as well. Be ready to pay a price. Okay. Yeah. Let me. You've mentioned something about public pa participation. Sure. Uh, are these things? Uh, are they like uh, publicized? Are they advertised? Do they, do the county? Let's talk now about yeah. Nakuru County yeah. as a government. Mm -hmm. Do they um, uh, sort of like publicize when yeah, now yeah. they need people to go participate in certain bills in Nakuru County? Oh yeah, yes. they do. Mm -hmm. uh, they do it uh, on the public notice board. Okay. In the county. Mm -hmm. Uh, some go ahead and even put it in the media. Okay. That is the either Facebook, mm -hmm. mostly Facebook. Mm -hmm. I've seen it there. Mm -hmm. So since young people more mo majorly are based on this social media, okay. they need also to be more informed and know mm -hmm. what is happening. Okay. Because mm -hmm. young people have a tendency of sitting down. Mm -hmm. They are just fed like birds. Mm -hmm. You know, they just open the beak. Mm -hmm. The mother bird goes and look for the. <laughs> food yeah, their work is just yeah. open the big and so it's important <laughs> we go to the media and understand what's happening on the ground mm -hmm. youths need to be vigilant mm -hmm. let me borrow a few of our few legions mm -hmm. that we had in the past mm -hmm. for instance martin luther mm -hmm. the time he started to fight for liberation mm -hmm. of the blacks mm -hmm. he was a youth he died at the age of 30s Oh, Tom really? Boyer, okay. when he started fighting for the liberation of workers in this beautiful country of ours, Kenya, mm -hmm. he was a youth. Mm -hmm. He also died in his 30s. Mm -hmm. And many, many other leaders. Mm -hmm. But here in, in this country, you find youth, mm -hmm. they are a bit 
they're a bit uh, 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 reluctant. Mm -hmm. They want things to be done. Mm -hmm. So it's important they should be ready to pay a price and be vigilant of what's happening. Okay. Yeah. We've also seen in the recent uh, elections where the youth in the country are used when it comes to when the, the election time is actually near or during that season, it is the youth who are used to throw stones. Yeah, yeah. to other people. Uh, what would you tell the youth and how can we, the youth of this country, Kenya, mm -hmm. avoid such traps because we are used and dumped immediately mm -hmm. these people, these old men get into power. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why youths are used mm -hmm. is because of the unemployment rate All in right. this country. Okay. Mm -hmm. You find mm -hmm. most of the youths are idle. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when you look at the Kenyan population, mm -hmm. The one they did the census, yes. you find youths occupy more than 65% of our population. Mm -hmm. We have 22 million adults. Mm -hmm. So if you do the calculation, and 15 million students, mm -hmm. pupils, mm -hmm. and the ones and their babies who are in ECDs, yes. 15 million. Mm -hmm. So when you do the calculation, you find we, we are the majority. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, since because we, we don't have the, the we, we are not busy somewhere, we are not employed, mm -hmm. you find you are easily swayed mm -hmm. by 50 shillings, mm -hmm. 100, 200, mm -hmm. and you tend to be a thousand, and mm -hmm. you tend to be used. Mm -hmm. So basically the issue is about unemployment and also integrity mm -hmm. of the one. Mm -hmm. We need to have personal discipline, mm -hmm. we need to be make the right choices. Yes. Let me shed some light about unemployment in this country. Yes. You find the day we agreed mm -hmm and said it's okay mm -hmm. when we had the death of river tax mm -hmm. when we had the death of pan paper mm -hmm. when you look at the most factories in thick and real 60 percent of them closed closed down yes. they closed down mm -hmm. most of the are some assembly factories that we had mm -hmm. we used to manufacture basic things and assemble even mm -hmm. uh, tractors mm -hmm. the basic things we cannot do them yes. you can imagine a container coming in mombasa carrying mm -hmm tissue papers and toothpick and even something as yes. and we've seen with this covid season yes, uh, yes, yes. something as simple as a mask as a mask something we can actually oh, yeah, make oh, yeah. locally yes, you can here. make yeah mm -hmm. you can imagine mm -hmm. such things we import mm -hmm. up to when ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen mm -hmm. so it's important youths mm -hmm. can they be given equal chance mm -hmm. can we revive this dead factories mm -hmm. if you want to help our youths mm -hmm. can we revive these dead factories yes can we revive Mumia's sugar? Mm -hmm. Can we revive any other factory that used to function mm -hmm. and it's dead? Mm -hmm. And I'm encouraging investors in this country. Yes. Kindly put your money into factories. Mm -hmm. We urge you mm -hmm. so that you can be able to, uh, create, to, employment. to create employment yes, yes. and our youths won't be used. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, poverty, <laughs> when someone is, is poor, mm -hmm. Uh, many at times the their integrity is a bit questionable mm -hmm. because they are hungry, they, they need hungry. to feed the kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's important that uh, they, they need to revive these factories mm -hmm. so that you can deal with unemployment in this particular country. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, one question. Um, how has now your journey been like in your quest? I, I would imagine you have rubbed shoulders with people older than you. Mm -hmm. You have an elective post. You actually want to go into 2022. Yes. You have people older, much older yeah, than sure, you who sure. are not youth. Eh? Mm -hmm. How has that been like when now they see this is a young blood coming in, mm -hmm. this is a young person with fresh ideas coming in. Has it been an easy walk for you in your own personal journey? I, I would say I'm in the forest. You're in the forest. Why am I in the forest? <laughs> yeah. Is a question of mm -hmm. reality mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. my expectations. Okay. What I expected the field to be, mm -hmm. it's longer the same. Mm -hmm. The way I visualize this field of politics to be mm -hmm. is not the reality on the ground. Mm -hmm. That's why I said I'm in the forest. It's difficult. It's you mean difficult. When you say you are in the forest, yes, means it, you are in a mucky yes, ground now. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I'm in a hard uh, between a hard place and a and hard a rock, rock. <laughs> okay. because. Mm -hmm. The older generation, they see me as a competitor. Yeah. Instead of holding the hand of a young, upcoming, fresh blood mm -hmm. and to bring new ideas. Mm -hmm. And to they, nurture them, yes, mentor them along and the to way. Mentor them, mm -hmm. <laughs> they capet you. Uh -huh. They tell you, uh -uh, relax, Wakati Jafika. Wakati Jafika. Wakati Jafika. Mm -hmm. And then they tell you, mm -hmm. 
vijana ni viongozi wa kesho up to when is up this to when shall we hear that is the yes, same. Yes. so it's a question of reality and the expectation mm -hmm. what i expected this field to be mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. it is not what i expected but, it's not easy but um, but uh, we, we have a fighting spirit mm -hmm. we continue forging ahead mm -hmm. we won't give up mm -hmm. as young guys mm -hmm. there's a lot of i tell you come 2022 mm -hmm. a lot of young aspirants are going to uh, spring up mm -hmm. young aspirants mm -hmm. And I encourage you mm -hmm. because you find as young people mm -hmm. we have the ideology of resources, mm -hmm. then uh, uh, ideas, mm -hmm. and also the numbers. We have the number, we don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. We have the many ideas, mm -hmm. but we have one issue resources. Resources. Uh, resources. Yes. For and now, for you to be able yes. to go into elective politics. Into elective politics. Mm -hmm. But I'm encouraging young people. Mm -hmm. As much as uh, resources might be a bit challenge, mm -hmm. don't give up. Don't give up. Don't shy away. Don't shy away. Okay. Uh, okay. The way I gave you many examples of mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. we young people mm -hmm. of the past did, mm -hmm. you can also make an impact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Allow me to give a, 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 a short story. Mm -hmm. We have within this community, mm -hmm. in this country of ours, yes. I want to uh, give a metaphor about a Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. It's about the society is divided into three. Mm -hmm. We have those that we, they are tribalistic. Mm -hmm. We have those that are don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't care what's happening. Mm -hmm. And we have those that are patriotic. Mm -hmm. Let me shed the light on the ones that are don't care. They have a don't care attitude. The youth. Most of them are the youths. Yeah. Whereby they build a big wall mm -hmm. in their houses. Mm -hmm. They breed in German shepherds and big dogs. Mm -hmm. Whatever is happening outside there, mm -hmm. they don't care. They don't care. When it comes to the day of election, they just change the channel. Mm -hmm. They go to the supermarket. They furnish their fridge. <laughs> They eat popcorns as the rest are voting, voting. queuing. So these are the, the don't care the people we yes. have. <laughs> and again, under the same category, mm -hmm. the youths, mm -hmm. some of them even don't have IDs mm -hmm. because they don't care. Mm -hmm. Then the same same voice mm -hmm. will come and say, Sisi Vijana, mm -hmm. this and this is not happening. Mm -hmm. So that that I, that that category of the society mm -hmm. we must get out of that cocoon of comfortability mm -hmm. and thinking you don't care about your neighbor mm -hmm. you don't care about the road that is being built on your neighbor mm -hmm. so it's important you take note of that mm -hmm. there's the other category mm -hmm. which is now the tribalistic youth now the tribalistic youths mm -hmm. most of the youths in this country are learned yeah. but I want to say this without fear of doubt mm -hmm. If you attach your feelings to your tribal affiliations, your education becomes useless. Wow. If you attach, if your, you feelings attach your feelings, your to emotions, your to, your tribal to your tribal affiliations, mm -hmm. your education, ladies and gentlemen, becomes useless. useless. Mm -hmm. No need mm -hmm. of going to the university, mm -hmm. no need of going to school mm -hmm. if you are coming to sing Osana mm -hmm. to somebody from your tribe mm -hmm. who is not doing anything. Mm -hmm. The last society, this we are the citizens, mm -hmm. the patriotic ones, mm -hmm. the good ones. Yes. We are encouraging everybody to be in this category mm -hmm. of the good youth. Of the good youth. Okay. Who are patriotic, who wants to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. So that's that's it and that's it yeah, yeah so particularly i want you to sort of like uh, give your part in short and yes. particularly to the youth mm. in the church in the, the born again young man young woman yeah. in the church mm. come from now to 2022 how mm. can we the youth in the church mm. be heard how can we speak and how can we make better choices in the coming elections come 2022 kindly look at your camera and just speak to the youth in the church and generally in the country today i, I want to give a parting shot mm -hmm. i learned in a clincher in this way mm -hmm. that uh, the christians mm -hmm. from the term christian is a follower of christ mm -hmm. so as you follow jesus mm -hmm. Jesus was a very good leader. Wow. He started in ministry mm -hmm. at the age of 30. Yeah. Jesus was a youth. He was youth, yes. I repeat, Jesus was a youth. Mm -hmm. So let us emulate mm -hmm. 
Jesus, mm -hmm. as Christians, mm -hmm. as followers of Christ, mm -hmm. whatever he did, mm -hmm. he was a good example. Mm -hmm. He was the only master mm -hmm. who lived on this earth mm -hmm. and didn't have issues. Mm -hmm. His image was not tainted in whatever way. Mm -hmm. He was perfect in all ways. Mm -hmm. Let us become such leaders. Mm -hmm. He should be our role model. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who is your role model. Mm -hmm. But don't give up. Mm -hmm. Use the media properly. Mm -hmm. Watch the right images. Yes. Watch the right, uh, listen to the right uh, uh, voice mm -hmm. so that you can be able even to help the upcoming generation. Generation. Yes. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. This is part one of our conversation on the youth in Kenya, particularly youth when it comes to their quest for leadership positions are they doing enough are they stepping out there are they going after what they truly believe instead of just being keyboard warriors behind their computers behind their uh, phone uh, their phones to just speak about the ills that are happening in this country when will their time truly really come our time is now the youth in kenya we can do it we have the ability we can take the mandate and we can change the narrative that we see every election year in this country kindly keep it the oracle television network this is kingdom conversations thank you for watching